ladies and gentlemen, let's do a quick little crash course, part two, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Let's talk about how we're going to write the equation of a line in slope intercept form. Do two things. First, we're going to say, what if they give us a graph and they ask us, hey, what's the equation of that line? Second thing, they're going to give us a point and a slope. A y intercept and a slope, and we're going to write the equation. So let's get to it. First thing first, you got to remember, that's your slope, which is rise over run. And that's your y-intercept 0 comma b. So your idea is you need to figure out what is m and you got to figure out what is b. All right now sometimes this can be a negative if our y-intercept was like down here or something but anyway we're gonna go ahead and it doesn't matter in which order we fill out these two things we've got to figure them both out. Let's start with b. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that's where our line crosses the y-axis so what we have is we have y equals plus b. I know there's an x there so I gotta figure out now what is the slope? What's the number times x? This slope right here, imagine you're standing somewhere on the left side of the graph and if you're walking to the right, are you going up or down? Well here we're definitely going up. Slope is positive. So let's find two points and count between them. I'm gonna count from here to here, rise over run. So looks like we go up one, two, three, four, five. So the rise is five and the run from there to there is one, two, three, four. There's our, there's our graph right there. Well, there's our equation of our line. y equals 5 over 4x plus 5. Now, let's say we had this and we had to write the equation of a line that has that slope and that y-intercept. Well, same exact deal. We have to figure out what are these two things right here, right? doesn't matter which one you do first. We have them both here, so let's just go ahead and do it. y equals m. Well, it tells us here m is negative 4 sevenths x is part of it and then plus or minus here we have a negative right we have a negative y-intercept so we're going to just put a minus there 11 and we're done negative 4 sevenths x plus 11 man fantastic 